Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're joining us for the first time, my name is Linda. I do DIY home decor and uh, vlogs. Today I'm welcoming you to my humble home. It's a one bedroom apartment, not so spacious, but it works for me and I have made it comfortable, comfortable enough for me. It works for me and that's all that matters. So guys, before we begin uh, kindly give this video a thumbs up because you're going to enjoy it do not forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so without further ado let's go straight to the video so guys once you get in there's the door the first thing you'll meet with is this uh, golden curtain and white shear which is just adorable and then where i place my keys is right there on that little sticker actually my keys are this <laughs> the holder is that pom-pom which i think is cute and then guys the first part of the house is the windows so the theme of the house is golden golden purple and the cream Guys, on that side of the wall where the window and the door is, you'll find that home sweet home art. And uh, what I'm using to hold my curtains are these two. These are curtain holders that I requested uh, to be made for, which were for a hundred Kenyan shillings each. then after that the next thing you're going to see guys is uh this poof and then there's the rest of the place the seats this i love purple i just think it looks so adorable and then there's this uh stool that is pre-painted gold it is in one of my diy videos which i'll attach in the description box i don't know if you guys can see clearly what do you think then right uh the corner on my right is my doll that i've had since i was 10 my cousin bought me that then we have this throw blanket that i have rolled and put on that corner so this is usually my favorite spot that corner you'll find me there with my laptop or watching tv or doing whatever from that corner and then i have uh my current read this is my current read at the moment and of course my specs then i have uh, this candle so you can see clearly guys so this candle holder is uh the lid of one of the spray paint cans i decided to make use of it rather than throwing it away so here's the whole look oh and guys there's that wall hanging art that I made myself. It is also in my DIY videos. You can do it yourself. And there's also this other one. Wall hanging shelf that I also made myself. You can also find it in my DIY videos. It's so cute. Let me change the date first. Guys, you can see it. It's so cute. I love it. So the overview of, the ha of, the, of that side of the house. Hope you can see it clearly. So guys, once you're seated, this is the front side of the living room, whereas there's my fan. I am usually very hot. I'm one of those people who cannot be found wearing a sweater unless I'm outside and it's really bad. So I, 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 I'm glad I have that fan. And I also have my TV mounted to the wall. 
I like that wallpaper. That is Bora Bora. Then my TV stand where I have things, my sanitizer. My sanitizer, my two little speakers, my laptop, uh, my little system. Then I had stuff here. My tripod, which I'm not using today. My notebook, Bible, air freshener. Then there's this cabinet where I have a lot of stuff. Then guys, I have the Edison bulb, which brings a whole warm, warm white lighting. So this is the living room guys in whole site like guys right after the living room we have this little corridor up here and the first thing you'll find is uh, my buckets that I usually use I couldn't find a better place to place them and I don't want to crowd the bathroom so right after right after that uh, you'll find the sink where I have my toothpaste my hand wash my toothbrush this beautiful butterfly and my hand towel right there so this is how it looks then on this other side we i have this cushion uh, that i usually sit on sometimes but i felt like it made the living room crowded so i have this tank that i store water just in case but where i stay there's water throughout 24 7 and then up here, I created some storage space because uh, this apartment is squeezed, so I have to get creative. I have my other set of curtains right here, so that when I clean the other ones, I usually hang them. Then right after that, let's proceed to the kitchen. Uh, I have a detailed uh, video of my kitchen, so I won't get into detail. Uh, I'll attach the detailed video in the description box. But the first thing you'll find is these two aprons and then there's my little ugly gas right there i don't i hate it <laughs> it's usually better than this but yeah i hope the next time i exchange it i'll find my previous k gas a new one then we have the sink area then the curtains oh in my previous video the only thing that has changed is the curtain i used to have a purple and cream sheer then this is where I place my utensils right after I've washed them. Then we have the cleaning stuff for the utensils right there at the window. Okay guys, the other update that was not in my previous kitchen tour are these glass jars which I think they are so adorable. We have placed my coffee, tea bags, sugar, then the, the rest of the stuff are there, my peanut butter and blue band and drinking chocolate then there's some leftover cooking oil right there then this is still the same from as far from the video and then guys look at this this is also another spray paint can lid which i made it a uh, thing for putting my coins then we have that home bank thing where i play i throw in cash once in, once in a while it's been a while since i opened it up and then this is where i place my kitchen towels and then this is also the other thing that is not in the previous kitchen tour where i've placed my serving spoons got it from naiva supermarket uh, for less than 100 kenyan shillings then we have my appliances my blender toaster bluetooth speaker then we have dental floss there, my fridge, which there's pretty much nothing in it, special in it. So cabinets down there, drinking water, then my TV box. I couldn't find a better place to put it, so it stays there. Guys, for now. Let's, let me show you the bathroom and our slash washroom. So I have these cute pink slippers that I got from Maguna supermarket at 160 Kenyan shillings and also this 
blue ones which are so cute that I'm wearing right now so this is the bathroom guys I don't like the floor but it is what it is so here we go here's my um, soap soap thingy the black soap and the regular soap the tissue and then my apply my cleaning supplies on this on my left side and uh, on my right side we have my skincare routine products and shower gel and then right here we have these stickers that, that have been placed for my scrunchie and my showering gloves and my shower cave and then we have my shower right there so there is an overview it's a bit tiny but it works for me and that is all that matters so after the bathroom let's proceed to the bedroom my favorite place so guys welcome to my bedroom this is my bed i love my bed i love throw pillows i need to get some for the living room but i haven't decided uh, the color yet. I was thinking golden, but I haven't found gold yet Then there's the bed of course and then on this upper side On that corner is where I place my There's where I place my bags and uh, that little teddy bear my bestie gave it to me From a while back my high school bestie to date. She gave that to me then the curtain is purple and with that cute curtain holder that you must have seen from my organize my room with me then on this part uh we have the switch right there at least uh we have two switches one when you enter the room then there's another one right uh, up above the bed the headboard and then then guys i diy that uh wall art uh not really DIY. I stuck. I bought those two butterflies and stuck the glow in the dark stars. There I am, guys, looking all cute. There's the mirror, and then uh, right here I have my. Do not laugh at me, guys. I don't have a bedside holder, and this space is so tiny. So I was thinking of DIYing one. I'm still figuring it out and then we have that porch where i keep my combs and my hair gel and right there we have my iron then my shoe rack is up here then we have my fluff slippers which i really love got this from quick mart supermarket for 400 kenyan shillings they are so cute then guys on this corner i diy this storage box actually i have a funny story i diy diy this and then right after i deleted the whole video by mistake so that is where i place my extra i place my extra clothes that i cannot find a space in my closet then guys right above the shoe rack we have my closet uh, which is uh, done halfway and but it works for me and makes the room at least more spacious and like how it would have been without and like how it would have been if the whole the wardrobe was fully done so let me show you what's a sneak peek of what is in here have my other bag right there a friend of mine got it for me too thanks chowder and then uh we have my stuff right here my lotion my skin other skincare products my liners uh, my makeup thingies are in this pouch. And then there's other pouch also with other things, wipes. There we go. Guys, this, here's an overview of the, the bedroom. And guys, I forgot about my... <laughs> this bulb. This bulb is everything. It is so bright, especially at night. I can do my makeup comfortably. So normally... I usually switch on the tiny one because it also has a warm lighting. The shape is cube. I got it from a, an electronic store for 700 Kenyan shillings or was it 600? 600 Kenya. I don't remember. But between 6 and 700 Bob. So there is an overview. 
tell me what you think about the room i think this is my favorite place do i love the living room too do not forget to subscribe so guys that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you have any suggestions for me something that i can do spice up hit, uh, write in the comment section below and uh, see you in my next video subscribe 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 share and you know i love you guys have a nice day bye Mwah.